Hi, in this video, we are going to see AMQP connector, how to use that in MuleSoft. For that, we are going to use RabbitMQ, which I just have installed in my machine. So, we are going to use that only. So, the RabbitMQ, which required Erlang, so that is also I have installed from this link. So, that is a prerequisite uh, software for RabbitMQ. And uh, this is Windows machine. So, I installed the Windows uh, from the EXE option. Uh, I went to the RabbitMQ website, downloaded and installed it. And after once we download, right, so we can go to the start menu and then you have something called RabbitMQ command prompt. So, the, I use that option to run a specific command, okay. So, so this one, so RabbitMQ command prompt and once it went to the SBIN directory, right, so I ran this particular command. So, this is the command, the RabbitMQ plugin bad. So, so the once it's uh, executed right and uh, this is the result i have got it so this is the result of that particular uh, command execution and then i open the the rabbitmq from the browser uh, because this is the administration console which we can use it the default username and password which is uh, guest and guest so that is the username i am logging into my console of rabbitmq so now uh, through which you can create the queues and channel so now once the installation is done right i am going to create a project in mule application in order to connect to our rabbit mq using amqp connector okay so i'll just create a project now i'll just call that as a amqp connector demo so here we are going to use a rabbit mq so i'll just click finish so once the project is created right what i'm going to do is i'm just going to create a uh, two different flows one to publish the message into rabbit mq topic which is channel it's called channel here or exchange here uh, so we are going to publish that to exchange and uh, which is a topic and the other one is we are going to subscribe something from We are going to subscribe something from the queue as well. Okay, so for that, I'll just quickly uh, take the AMQP connector from the exchange to our project. So I'll just use this uh, AMQP and then I'll add it to our project and then I'll just click finish. So now the AMQP is added. So what I'll do first, I'll just uh, subscribe or listen from the AMQP queue. Okay, so I will add the listener now. So I'll just call this flow as subscribe flow. Okay. I'll change this one as subscribe flow, subscribe or I'll just call subscribe queue. Okay. So we are going to subscribe from the queue only. Queue I'll just directly create it from the, the administration console of RabbitMQ. So here we will add the connector configuration. So which I'll just default localhost because this application is running in my machine and port is 15672 which is optional only or I'll just fill it and uh, username is guest and password also guest because while installing right i didn't change the password and yeah i'll try to do a test connection so once it's connected right and uh, i'll try to uh, so there's an error so i'll just leave this one for now and uh, because the application is already running i'll just give ok and then meanwhile once i subscribe right i wanted to log the message just to show we have subscribed successfully I'll add uh, the payload itself so that whenever I publish, I can see whatever I publish, right? I can see it from the the logger itself or in the console, we can see it. Okay. The queue name, right? I'll just go and create the queue. So you just go to the queue and I'm going to add a queue. So this is the, there is a add a new queue option. So there, right? I'll add a queue with a name for this demo, right? Uh, already I have one my test queue, but I, again, I'll just create a new queue here and I'll say uh, sample queue okay and then durable I'll just keep it classic there are a few types okay so which you can configure it accordingly so I'll just try to create a queue see here samples queue uh, I think I have created with uh, some error because the queue name I just gave it wrongly so maybe you know I'll just try to create another queue so this one maybe I'll just call this as a so what is today uh, so 5th june so i'll just sample 
05 June okay I will call this as a queue name okay so I just given a correct spelling now so I'll just click add queue so this is our queue whatever you see in the first one right so that is our queue name currently the ready right it's showing zero okay so nothing published so far so this is the queue we are going to use it I just copied the queue name I'm going to paste it here okay so I just pasted it now I'll save this one so in the and then manual rail I'll just uh, run this project and here itself right there is an option to publish the message to some this particular queue okay so once you click the queue there is an option to send it here publish a message so I'll send a, with the persistent option so that uh, even though uh, the application or the queue or uh, restarted right still you will have the message so I'll try to use a publish option so this is a place where you can test your messages or you can send the message to your queue okay so i'll use this publish option to publish it for that i'll just uh, try to download some sample json from the online i'll try to take any json okay so there is a sample here so i'll try to take any of the sample so maybe you now i'll just take this small one which has the widget okay so i'll just copy this json and I'll put it here okay so you can put any kind of a payload okay so if, you, if it's XML or JSON whatever it is fine so I'm just putting some valid JSON and I'm going to publish it okay so earlier when I show the screen from the queue option right where we are able to see the ready uh, whatever the publish it was showing zero so now I'll try to publish it okay so here I have to see here the message is published and uh, there's a graph it's showing the it's published now which is 924 my current time I'll go and click this queue and if you see here right sample 5th June queue right and you are able to see ready equal to 1 which means some messages are there in your queue okay so now what I'll do I'll just come to my application and see here the application has started now started now but it has not subscribed anything I'll just come and console and see because the whenever we publish something right it's supposed to see here the message shows to the listener flow subscribe queue is not connected because when I create a project initially I gave this queue name but I didn't create this queue name so I'll just go and change the queue name now in our configuration so this is the queue name I'll copy again and go to the listener property I'll Okay, I gave the queue name correctly only okay so I'll just uh, try to run it again maybe I somehow it's referring the other queue so I'll just check it from here as well here we didn't give any details so only we gave the host name port and username and password so what I'll do I'll just because it's still referring the old one I'll try to redeploy it okay so what I'll do I'll just stop this one and then I'll start the project again so I saved it it's a referring our uh, new queue only and I'm just starting the project now so if it is successfully started and deployed right and if it's successfully connected to our queue then we will be able to subscribe the message and which we can see it from this console because I'm just logging the entire payload so whatever I publish here right which is one now which is actually uh, the widget JSON which I have put it there we will be able to consume it from our application once it's running right Okay, I think the earlier also right when it was saying subscribe queue I'm not sure it's a queue name or project name or flow name it is referring to the log anyway we'll just double check it now to see our uh, messages are getting subscribed in this flow using AMQP connector or not so it's uh, initializing the app now so once started uh, it's supposed to listen to the particular queue and it's supposed to log the content okay it's deploy now and before that there was an error so I'm just trying to see what was the error so connectional I think the still right uh, the it's not able to connect to RabbitMQ so I'll try to see now why we are not able to connect to RabbitMQ because the application is already running see here it's already running which we have opened as well so I'll try to see what was the problem so maybe I'll just try to remove this 15672 one five six I'll try to remove this port and then I'll do a test connection yeah test connection is successful I'll just try to put again another port the same port what I was showing in the administration console 
I think uh, this is the port I think it's not connecting so maybe we, we don't need to fill any port and uh, maybe it will take some default port of AMQP connector uh, which I'll try to do a test connection and it's successful now okay so now we have changed the configuration I'll save this one so meanwhile you will also check like uh, what is the default uh, connector port for uh, AMQP and then uh, the RabbitMQ default port right and then you just put that one it should work so as of now it's optional only so i will just leave it now see here now you see the message got subscribed once the application is deployed right and we are able to see whatever the widget message which we have put it right see here widget and this entire thing right it is uh, the actual message which you put it's it has been subscribed so earlier we whatever we are we were seeing the subscribe queue in this log right so that is nothing but that's your flow name only because if you see here the subscribe queue is nothing but your queue uh, flow name only and uh, the only problem we had it so we have we have to give the remove the port because uh, the rabbit mq maybe it's not running with that port while connecting or while listening to this particular subscriber okay so i just given this configuration and then i have just only mentioned the queue name and we were able to subscribe it okay so similarly right you can put any message so i'll just go and uh, show another one i'll just try to send one message okay so i'll try to publish some message you can put anything xml or txt or any other format so uh, for now i'll just uh, give some message as a json hello from rabbit mq and uh, today is 5th june okay and message i'll just keep one so you try to see here i'll just try to publish it so whenever i publish right so you are getting this one acknowledgement and you come to your console and you will be able to see the message has been published see here the message is coming here so which means we are able to publish it and we are able to subscribe it using amqp connector so now what we are going to do is we are going to do another exercise in the same flow where what i'm going to do i'm going to publish something into the rabbit mq using amqp connector for that i'll use this publish option I'll just drag and drop publish I'll minimize this one and uh, I'll drag and drop publish I think earlier when I drop it right I think uh, yeah so it's it's dropped here I created a, it's created a new flow and then it is having publish operation here so how I trigger this particular flow I'll just add some HTTP listener so whatever I'm going to send it from my HTTP right I wanted to publish it okay so publish also you need some uh, QR topic which you will create from rabbit MQ so meanwhile right I'll just click this one or instead of adding it right I'll use the same connection okay this is a HTTP listener for HTTP listener we have to create a new connection only so we, which is not there I'll leave it with default port I'll give okay and then uh, this particular endpoint right I'll just give it like publish okay so this is publish and in AMQP publish right it will use by default whatever the connector configuration which you have created in the subscribe floor which is also there in the same mule project which is amqp config and then there it's asking a exchange name which exchange is like a topic where uh, it can have multiple subscriber so we are going to publish to exchange so instead of publish so for uh, in order to publish to exchange we need that exchange to be created so i'll just go and create add a new exchange so i'll just call this also sample 5 june 2022 and then i'll end with exchange okay exchange i'll copy this one and i'll add a exchange and it's it's a previous message and you come and see here the exchange is created already okay so before exchange right i'll just go and show the queue because earlier when we published it the ready was one right now it's zero which means it's already subscribed from the queue okay so now i'll just go to exchange the one which we have created and uh, it's having publish message even the test option but what we are going to do is we are going to publish it from our mule project only okay so we don't need that so i'll just uh, i came to this overview and last 10 minutes uh, there is no graph or there is no message let's try to publish it from here and also i'll add a logger so that we know this particular flow has been complete okay so i'll just add a logger with some message and i'll just say uh, message has been published to exchange 
okay so i published it and uh, publish i'm just checking the exchange name is configure so if it's not configured so i'm just configuring it now so it's done now so there is a http listener which which will receive your request and then it will call this publish which will publish to exchange and then what it will publish so we are going to publish the data right so i'm going to publish the payload so whatever the payload i'm going to send it through http listener so it's going to receive here and then it's going to publish and then it will log the message so if there is a failure it will not go to the log so that uh, the message will not appear so now the project is already started i'll just see here yeah so we saved it it is also redeployed the the changed artifact into your mule runtime so now uh, in order to receive the request right i'll just go to my postman and i'll try to post some data okay local host 8081 so and uh, anyway so publish is endpoint I'll go to the body and then I'll just give raw data and I'm going to publish JSON only here. So I'll just, uh, you can put any message. So I'll just uh, use some message. And this is a test from postman to publish. Okay, so this is a message is enough. So I'll try to publish this one. I'll try to send this request to our application. So it's sending the request and it has received a response as 200 okay which means our application has received the request and uh, see here the AMQP connector demo flow right and this particular flow I didn't rename it so this is a flow got invoked and uh, and also you see the message the message has been published to exchange message has been published to our exchange so that message is also printed which means this step published executed successfully and then the logger has printed the message as well let's go and see exchange see here earlier when we checked the queue right or earlier when you checked the exchange it was empty now you are able to see at 9 34 there was one message published okay so this way right you can see whatever the published message has reached to your rabbit mq using amqp connector so whatever we tried today uh, it's mainly we have used amq connector and then we tried a listener first where we listened it from the queue and then we used uh, another flow to another flow to publish the message to exchange similarly you have many other operation as well which you can use it like consume act publish consume and reject as well which you can try so what what we have tried today and before that right uh, before this particular demo i also installed the the few component which i already mentioned and uh, after that only we tried from uh, anypoint studio adding a amqp connector in order to connect to any kind of uh, protocol right so for example so there are some lot of jms provider right which comes with the amqp protocol so you using a AM, ampq connector you can connect to those kind of uh, jms application or jms provider using this particular protocol thank you uh, hi thank you for watching this video so far if you like the video please share it with your friends and also subscribe to this tech lightning channel thank you bye bye